question is, will a GY6 stator fit into a Hawk 250 motorcycle? The short answer is yes, but you have to buy the eight pole stator uh, that comes with a pickup coil to make sure that it will fit in there. Um, there are minor differences about the original OEM stator versus the GY6 one, but the GY6 one is so much cheaper. I mean, $85 versus $15, definitely. Um, but, you know, it's up to you if you want to, you know, know about those differences and if it makes a difference to you if you want to buy the OEM one. Go ahead and watch the video and I'll tell you what the differences are. Okay, you know what? The purpose of this video is to find out whether or not a GY6 stator fits inside of a Hawk 250. Now, for those of you that don't know what a GY6 engine is, a GY 150cc, GY 125cc engine is probably one of the most ubiquitous engines on the whole planet. It's basically a scooter engine. It's a scooter engine that's mass produced in China. And they put this thing in all sorts of scooters. They also put it in four wheelers and ATVs that you order from China. Anyways, the reason that I think it's important to know if a GY6 fits in this baby is because all the manufacturers want 85 or more dollars for the original OEM stator that goes in here. Well, a GY6 stator can be had for only about $15 on eBay. Um, that's the majority of them. I mean, 15 plus shipping. Um, there's many different sizes of GY6. You could get a, a six pole, an eight pole, an 11 pole, a 15 pole. Pole, poles being, you know, how many of these uh, coils there are right here. Anyways, um, I've gone to the liberty of already removing this particular uh, side cover for the engine to show you where the stator is. It's on the left side of the engine, obviously. And this is the original OEM stator that's in here. Um, I've already taken the bolts out, but I'm just going to go ahead and take it out and uh, show you the main differences. Okay, so... This stator has got, um, well, if you're, in case you're wondering what this is, this is the pickup coil. The pickup coil is basically what tells the engine to fire. The pickup coil sits over the flywheel right here. The flywheel has this magnet. Every time the magnet passes over the pickup coil, that basically tells the, the CDI box when to fire. That's the quick explanation as for what's happening. The interesting thing about um, the CDI box and this thing is there's two different types of CDI boxes that you can get for a... Uh, for a motorcycle. You can get an AC CDI box that basically takes a direct high voltage AC wavelength um, from the engine and uh, takes just that AC signal directly from the stator and uses it to power the spark plug. Or you can have a DC CDI box which basically still uses a pickup coil but it, it derives its energy from the battery in the, the, uh, in the machine and um, basically it converts the, the 12 volts that the battery puts out using a, a special type of transformer inside of it up to like 100 volts. And then um, it charges up the capacitor with that 100 volts and then that capacitor goes into the ignition coil and thus to the, the spark plug. Um, anyways, yeah, this, uh, this bike, so this original OEM coil right here is basically producing um, an AC signal from the majority of the coils, as far as I understand, that are going into the rectifier to power up the battery. Now, uh, one of these wires coming off this, this black and red one right here, that's the high voltage one that's basically sending like 100 volts from this stator. And I don't know exactly how the wires are routed through this for it to get, I don't know if it's getting it off of this this one coil that's, uh, that's uh, wrapped with fabric or something, or if it's like passing through all of them or what, but... This one is the, the high voltage, um, and it's going basically directly to the CDI box to power it. But the thing, if you're going to buy a, a GY6 stator to go in here, you need to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've got eight coils. So I just happen to have a used GY6 eight coil stator that looks to be almost the same as this. It doesn't seem like it's the same outer diameter, but it actually is if you go to the metal plates. And um, this actually fits inside the uh, flywheel, like the magnets holding in there. Um, so I know it fits um, inside there pretty well, but two of the main differences that I've found is that this original uh, OEM stator in here has three bolt holes. This GY6 one only has two bolt holes. And the, this one actually does fit in there, but the other difference is that the hole on the original OEM one is a little bit bigger, and this hole is a little bit smaller. So at first, I 
didn't think that the GY6 one was going to fit, but inside of the, the case cover, it actually, it won't fit like over on top of that, but it will still fit on top of that. And I was like, well, that's not going to work. It can't just fit, you know, sit on top of that table. It needs to slide on top of it. But then I started to look at the thickness of the plates. The original OEM stator has like about a quarter inch more of these metal plates in it. And this one has like the, the GY6 has a narrow amount of plates. So I found that when I bolted this GY6 in here, it sat at the same level, meaning it's basically sitting at the same depth inside of the flywheel as the original OEM one. And um, I'm going to go ahead and bolt this thing in here and see if it actually works. Um, uh, let's see. What else do I want to say about this? Yeah, and um, if you're trying to get to the stator, I will say that uh, I think it's Hawk 250 made an excellent instructional video about how to get to get to the stator on the engine and just to go through it again, you undo these bolts on the uh, on the side cover. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the bolts here. And then you have to pop open the gear cover for the starter motor. These, uh, that's just three bolts. And then there's a bolt on the inside of that cover you have to get to. And then you also need to unscrew the two motor screws coming in from the other side. And then you're able to fully take the case off. You just gotta make sure that you put all these gears back in the same way. But um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just to show you what's, what's going on here. So when I put this in here, I'm only going to be able to use um, two bolts to put this in here because those two bolt holes still line up. And then as for the pickup coil, the pickup coil has the same bolt hole pattern and everything. The magnet's still the same distance away. And I wasn't sure if the magnet's like, you know, the same exact micron measurement away from the flywheel, that's why I'm going to put it in here and see if it actually works. Um, and there's a lot of viewers that are probably thinking, oh, this is really stupid to find out. Why don't you just buy the, the original stock OEM stator that goes into this Chinese bike because you don't want to fry anything or mess anything up. Um, I already know enough about how stators work. You know, I'm not going to mess anything up doing this. And, um, the other thing is like the other thing is like you know you don't want something that's mechanically going to hit the flywheel. Um, that's the other thing. I can slowly rotate the engine or start it up. It's a it's a Chinese motorcycle. The whole reason that us Hawk 250 owners basically bought a Chinese motorcycle is because we wanted to be able to have fun with as little money as possible. So when you go to fix this motorcycle, you don't want to have to spend you know, a whole buttload of money on it just to fix one little part. You want to be able to have the same advantage that people in China have, like going to the thing and buying like a $10 CDI box um, for their GY6 engine or whatever. And I've watched the videos and read on forums that say that you can actually put the GY6 CDI box in this motorcycle. I've yet to really try it myself. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that stator in there and um, fire it up for you. Okay, this is the GY6 bolted in there and everything. So it's sitting on top of that cylinder rather than that that short little cylinder, you know, uh, sliding, you know, partially through this hole right here. <clears throat> the original um, OEM part for the Hawk 250, that hole right there is big enough for it to slide down over that cylinder a little bit. And the thing is, this, like I said before, these plates are of a of like a quarter inch thicker or whatever. So with this bolted in and everything, this is actually sitting at the same level. So the, the stator is going to be slid into the flywheel cup the same level as the original OEM part was to begin with. And the, um, the pickup coil right there, there's this piece of metal right here that kind of holds the uh, pickup coil or the, at least the wires down that sits over the pickup coil. So you bolt through the, uh, this, this piece of metal and then in through the pickup coil. I just took that off the old one. It's just bending a piece of metal and bending it over the, uh, the wires to make sure that all that stuff sits down away from the, uh, the flywheel and doesn't get caught up with it. The other thing that I wanted to say is if you do end up putting a GY6 stator in here, you want to, since it doesn't come with a, uh, a rubber grommet in there to block the oil from cutting it out of it. Um, you want to take like, I would personally use this stuff right here. Um, basically, you know, black gasket maker, or ATV sealant or whatever you call it, silicon or whatever, and just put a big gloop of that in there, let it cure for about, you know, five or six hours or whatever it says on the bottle. 
so you don't have oil squirting out of here when it goes in there. But um, I think that's all I have to say about that. And once again, I just, you know, that that fits in there and it, it kind of fits over the, um, fits over the thing. I'm going to go ahead and bolt it up though and start it up for you. <clears throat> Okay, I've just got everything put back together. Now, you're going to need to remember that um, the original OEM stator has got that little plastic rubber grommet plug or whatever thing that fits in here. So if this thing actually works, it's actually, I know it already works, but I'll just run it for you. But oil is going to come squirting out of this. So anyways, let's check it and see if this, the GY6 stator works. And that's because it's a cheap Chinese motorcycle. And the whole reason that all of us buy these motorcycles is to have fun without having to pay an arm and leg or without having to purchase Japanese parts, let alone, you know, let alone an entire Japanese motorcycle. Uh, in some cases, a used Japanese, mo Japanese motorcycle is probably the best thing to do. It's probably why I have a CRF 450R in my backyard. But um, I can't say enough good stuff about this. 